It is my pleasure to introduce a new alumnus from 2013. Hello, uh, my name is Bipin Dangol. I'm from Nepal and I did my Master of Science uh, in uh, Environmental Science and Technology from UNESCO IHC in year 2013. Bipin, can you briefly talk about your research thesis? Uh, my, my research thesis was very interesting. I did my research on Fikasla's code characterization and code treatment with municipal wastewater. And uh, in, in the thesis, I particularly worked uh, to do the characterization of fecal sludge uh, management, uh, in particularly in developing country. It is a very big issue, challenging issue, so that's why I enjoyed a lot during my thesis. Perfect. And uh, next week you are going to go back to your country mm -hmm. and tell us what uh, are your plans, where are you going to work and in which way do you think that these new studies you have done will impact your career? Uh, once upon my arrival in my country, I'll work in my same organization, uh, which is NGO called ENFO. And uh, I used to work there for 10 years, more than 10 years, so I will continue working at, uh, in, in, in my same organization. But I have learned many things from UNESCO IEC, particularly in water and sanitation sector. And I, I'm, I will try my best to implement my knowledge at the field level. For example, during my thesis, I learned a lot about fecal slash co-treatment, treatment and management. Uh, which is a growing issue in my country also, fecal sludge is a growing issue. And I'll, I'll try my best to implement my ideas, to develop new projects, and uh, to serve my communities, and to, to contribute something in the sanitation sector. So during my uh, period, uh, my study in UNESCO IG, particularly I learned many things about water treatment, water management, sanitation, and I learned many things from my colleagues also. So I grew a lot of networking, international networking here, more than 85 countries. I know the people from more than 80 countries and uh, we have very good uh, connection now. So this kind of international atmosphere is very good in UNESCO IIG and I want to take advantage of this networking once I go back to my country so that I can serve my community very well. And Bipin was a very active person. He is really uh, very social, has the skills of leadership, so he was Thank the president you. of the Students Association Board this year. Thank you. Apart from a very active person in all our social activities, as he always helped us. Yeah. So tell us something about that part of the years. Yeah, one of my major achievements, I would say the, the one of my very interesting uh, part of my life in UNESCO IC was the, this SAB activities. SAB is a student association board. Uh, I was uh, serving as a president of SAB and during the SAB activities we, we got to know each other very well with other, uh, all, other co international colleagues also. So basically the main objective of SAB was to foster the welfare of students. So we did a lot of uh, fun activities as well as social and cultural activities. So uh, this, the, the, the main objective we shared is to, to integrate the socio-cultural things among the international participants. And I think uh, we succeeded on that one. We, say, we never say goodbye to anyone else, we say see you somewhere. So we, we also used to say keep in touch, keep in touch, keep in touch. So keep in touch is very important because once you have a com good communication and good networking, then uh, in the future we can work together and we can help each other in this water and sanitation sector. So I always used to say keep in touch, keep in touch and keep in touch. Please my friends, all my uh, alumni, friends and new friends also, please keep in touch. Bipin, thank you very much for this interview and please keep in touch. Thank you very much <laughs> and I wish all the best for this, my UNESCO family, all the best in the future. Thank you.